on my little contraption. Hey guys, this is a uh, bowl and Kool Aid. I'm here recording the uh, audio over this video because hey. I did the whole entire thing and had my microphone. I get. I mean, it was on, so I don't know what happened. But anyway, it's okay because uh, I was in here with T and Q. Uh, T didn't really want to be a part. He's kind of he's weirdly antisocial because the fact is. He's really fantastic at this stuff. He taught us a lot of stuff that we didn't know, and he was able to show me some stuff. So hopefully, I can get across a little bit of what he shared with us, uh, at least visually, because there's no way I can explain some of the things that he explained to me. But um, if you're out there watching, just know anytime our party's open, you can come in, because he really had a lot to show us, and it was really cool. Uh, right here, this is my little mob launcher. Basically. Uh, it works because the pistons close, uh, push the block over and, and close it off for the water. And then when we push that again, they pull the pistons, but they pull the blocks back. The water flow is able to go in because of the pressure from putting so many mob eggs in there. Or mob, uh, you know, mobs in there. They just launch out and rain down. It's a really interesting to watch. It's a good little machine. Doesn't serve a huge real purpose. Especially if you're gonna play a survival, but uh, maybe we can figure something out for it. Uh, this is my tank, not a great tank, but it works. It shoots uh, TNT pretty far out there, and it's got a fireball machine gun on the side there. We're gonna run over here and take that for a spin. Um, he did also show me some stuff with this. Uh, we didn't really get into it very much, but we did. Uh, he did do a clock. Show me how the clock works. Um, I know a lot of people that play Minecraft already were already sure, but this is the clock he showed me. And basically, this thing will allow it to be the energy cycle to cycle instead of just be there solid. You can uh, send it through. This is an underground entrance to a secret layer. Basically, you run over this tree here and you can push the button. He's very good with signs. I'm terrible with signs, but he's very good with signs. Press the button. The it's not very secret when it says push button to open the well. But there you go. <laughs> it lets you go down, and there's a little area you can build. A, somebody can build a house eventually. Um, this was the old access hatch to go back upstairs. Um, and then that's some of the redstone. Redstone for this was not really really difficult, but we were trying to make a really short video so I didn't have a lot of time to go in and show everything um, with any of these and I do want to say this with any of the inventions or little machines that you see that I've made on here or the other people have come in and made let me know if it's something that you'd like to see okay um, because we can do walkthroughs on this um, right here is a map in an item frame I didn't know that it did this <laughs> but you can do a you are here sign and basically show people you know have a full map that I saw it in his world, in T's world, and I was like, wow, dude, I never even thought about that. Like, I have a clock in my house, but I didn't think about the map. Uh, this right here is actually a tree harvester. Now, if anybody watching this knows how to do the ones that, like, eat the leaves also, like, push the leaves down, uh, let me know in the comments or send me a message, whatever. So jump in, send me a friend request on Xbox, man. We can get in here and build some stuff. Basically what this does though is um, the tree grows, it pushes the tree over and another piston comes out and pushes it down and so eventually um, with enough pistons in the right places I could have a 13 by 13 block of tree. Oh, I'm sorry 12 by 12 it would actually be 12 by 12 block of trees and uh, you can just go over there if you want to get experience points or if you need wood you can go over and harvest it from there. <clears throat> it's a really neat design. That's my automatic TNT launcher. And this is a sand and gravel maker. I actually set it up so that <clears throat> one pillar would make gravel and one would make sand. And basically it works on a bud up, uh, block update. You just put it there and then boom, it just starts spitting them out. And up here, because of the sticky piston, it makes some kind of glitch that creates a new block. So it continues to drop blocks down without actually spinning in the top. And 
So there you see, and then when you get done, jump in, pick it up. Oh, excuse me, I don't know why I'm yawning. I'm not really tired, but whatever. I guess I'm boring myself. That doesn't say a lot. Uh, here's a house that I built in the water, um, overlooking the stronghold that we excavated. That way I can go in, walk around in the house, get the things I need to get, and I can stand there and just look out over the stronghold. And it uses the same water elevator that I used on my other house. Once again, you can find those anywhere on the internet. So, you know, those are easy to find. But if you do want to walk through, you want me to go in there and throw some tips out there about how to do them, just, just put a comment out, you know. Talk to me. Let me know what you want to see because we can make just about anything. We just need, we're always open for fresh ideas. I'm always open to criticism. So, definitely if you see something that I haven't done efficiently, tell me, man. We can... You know, you can come in there, you can show us some stuff, we can work together and make it happen. Uh, we're really, you know, a good group. Not a lot of bickering and fighting. Pretty much when you come into my world, I leave it open so you can do just about whatever you want. I don't really like griefing, but we never really be griefed. So I pretty much let everybody come in there and just, you can use whatever materials you find, whether it's in my chests, uh, whether it's in the, uh, you know, when you mine it yourself or whatever. And this was the use for the clock. Makes an automatic machine gun for the uh, flame charge. But anyway, that's it, guys. I'm going to wrap this up.